What's up everybody, it's Seth from Fowler Customs and today I'm reviewing the brand new Air Jordan 12 Chinese New Year. Thanks so much for tuning in today guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet, but with all that being said, let's get into it. So this past weekend, Jordan Brand released this new Air Jordan 12 Chinese New Year, of course to pay tribute to Chinese New Year. And one thing you'll notice right off the bat is that this looks strikingly similar to the Air Jordan 12 Taxi. But the cool thing about this shoe is that there's actually a lot of little details hidden throughout that separate this from the Taxis and make it its own dope colorway. But of course before we get into the shoes themselves, let's take a look at the box. So here it is, the Air Jordan 12 Chinese New Year box, and of course because it's a special edition box, it's going to have a different color scheme. and a a couple different logos that you wouldn't have on the regular Air Jordan 12 box. The first thing you'll notice is that instead of the natural cardboard they were using on the original Air Jordan 12 box, they've actually switched things up and given it this sort of cream matte finish. Not only that, but around the box you've actually got a bunch of metallic red details which really make the design pop. On the top you've got this Chinese script which I had to look up on Google, but apparently it means 12. And if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure it means 12. Of course, you've got the Jumpman on the back and on the front. And an interesting detail is that they've actually given you this metallic red pull hole, just like what's on the Air Jordan 11 boxes. Obviously, this isn't for pulling the box out of a sleeve. I'm assuming it's more for ventilation of the shoes, but it's a cool detail. Of course, you've got the size tag. This time around, it's white with red text. I got a size nine, my true size. And with Air Jordan 12s, you're pretty much good to go true to size. The official colorway is white, black, Varsity Red and the suggested retail is 250 bucks, which comes out more to like 270 with tax, so it's kind of a pricey silhouette. But now let's take a look at what's inside the box. Inside the lid, you've actually got this matte red lining, and there's some text that says quality inspired by the greatest player ever. I love details like that. They really make the packaging and the shoes more interesting. And one last little goodie inside the box, you've actually got that same Chinese script on the top of the paper in gold, which looks sick. I love it. And then of course, You've got the Air Jordan 12 Chinese New Year. So as I mentioned before, at first glance this looks a lot like the Air Jordan 12 Taxi, but the first thing you might notice when you actually get this shoe in hand is that this entire upper isn't actually regular tumbled leather, it's actually this 3M white leather which is pretty different when you look at it. Rather than having any texture on the upper like you usually would have with the tumbled leather, you've actually got this more smooth, almost plasticky feeling texture which I don't hate, but I don't love. I mean, obviously that's just the nature of the 3M material, so there's not really much you can do about it, but it's just something to keep in mind. Of course, because the upper is 3M, whenever you hit it with a flashlight or the light hits it in just the right way, you're gonna get this really cool flash and really cool color effect on the top of the shoe. Think of those reflectors on the back of your bike pedals, and that is exactly what this looks like. Which honestly, I think is a really cool touch because from a distance, this looks just like the Air Jordan 12 Taxi, but when you get up close or hit it with a flashlight just right, you get this completely different look. Moving down to the mud guard of the shoe, you'll notice that it doesn't actually have that same texture that most Air Jordan 12 mud guards have. It's actually got this really cool woven texture that's inspired by Chinese wicker baskets and it's a detail that I didn't even notice till I got the shoes in hand and now that I've got them I kind of think it's a really cool touch. Another interesting detail that I didn't notice until I got the shoes in hand is that on this accent right here and on these two lace holders instead of being the standard solid color plastic that they usually use on Air Jordan 12s they've actually printed bamboo grain onto each accent which when you look at it gives it this really cool effect However, it's not real bamboo, it's still plastic. A couple people online said it was real bamboo, but if you look really close, you can see the printing dots all around the texture. So from that, you can tell that it's just a print on plastic. Also, I think if you cut bamboo that thin, it would be super fragile and almost completely useless on the shoe. You've still got the 2-3 embroidered on the bottom half of the tongue, and then the Chinese script embroidered on the top. To be honest, I think that script is actually my favorite part of the shoe. It's pretty different, it's got this really cool aesthetic, and it's the one thing that when you look at the shoe from a distance, makes you wonder if this is actually a Taxi 12, or if it's something different. I just think it's a dope touch. Inside the shoe, you've got that same Air Jordan 12 lining in black, and the insole of the shoe is actually textured like leather and has that same Chinese script printed on the heel. Moving around to the back of the shoe, you've got that one hit of red with a 23 on the heel. Of course, you've got your blackout pull tab, but this time it's in leather and it's got that same wicker texture that you found on the mud guard. Finally, moving to the bottom of the shoe, you've got this black outsole that's broken up by gold and black carbon fiber. You've got more hits of red with the Jumpman and the 23 on the toe. And then on the ball and the heel of your foot, you've got these little translucent windows that you can see through to this gold and white pattern. And not surprisingly, it's the same wicker detail that you find around the upper of the shoe. Overall, I think this is a great rendition of the Air Jordan 12. I personally love the Air Jordan 12 as a silhouette. I think it's a great looking shoe and it's pretty comfortable. But I think the reason I like this Chinese New Year Air Jordan 12 so much is because of all the little details throughout the shoe that really differentiate 
differentiate it from the Air Jordan 12 Taxi and also make it this really crazy and different tribute to Chinese New Year. It's a dope shoe, but I gotta be honest, it's pretty pricey at 250 retail. So now that we've got the review out of the way, let's throw these guys on feet and see how they look. That's pretty much it for the video today guys. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you think of the Air Jordan 12 Chinese New Year and if you're planning to grab a pair for yourself. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to Fowler Customs if you want to see more content just like this. And make sure to follow Fowler Customs on Instagram and on Twitter.